In this demonstration, I'm going to show you a simple solution for tracking financials and reg status of your strategic projects or initiatives in Jira, and how this is represented in your advanced roadmaps plans, and in addition, some nice rolled up reporting into Confluence. So first up, we're going to create a new strategic initiative. So as a new initiative, we're going to enter in some information here. So let's call this new initiative. We can enter in our descriptions and all those things. I'm going to put a date and things in here for our target start and end. But when we have a new initiative, we want to enter in the total budget for that strategic initiative when we create it. Now, if we don't know that, of course, we can enter it at a later date, but let's assume we do. So we know that our budget on this initiative is 500,000. I'm going to add a couple of other fields in, and then I click on create. Now let's go and take a look at that initiative. So here we can see all the information that we've entered, including our budget of $500,000. Okay, so now assuming we have started work on this initiative, I'm going to move it through our workflow. And we've spent some budget and we want to reflect the actual amount spent and have it return the remaining budget to us. So we're going to edit our initiative and enter how much we've spent to date in the actual field. So we scroll down here and here's our actual field. So I'm going to say we've spent $250,000 and I'm going to click update. And so now we can see a few things have happened to on our, on our initiative. We can see the remaining budget has been calculated and the remaining budget field populated. So we can see from our $500,000 budget we've spent two hundred and fifty. dollars we have two hundred and fifty dollars remaining. And we can also see that a budget status field has been set. So this will either be under if we've spent less than our entire budget, over if we've spent more than our budget, or in danger if we've spent all of our budget and the initiative has not been closed off. So for this one, we've spent under. So this is a simple way to capture your project budget and expenditure with some automation built in. So now we want to update our initiative with a RAG status and some notes. So in this example, we're going to set our RAG status to red and fill in the RAG status notes to indicate why it's red and our path to green. So I'm just going to turn on my RAG status. Yeah, okay, so RAG status is red. So we've got the option of red, amber or green. And my notes are, we are currently, currently on schedule. And our path to green, make more resources. Okay, so we've entered our RAG status and our RAG status notes, and we're going to update that. And so we can actually see here that RAG status and our RAG status notes. So the important thing to remember is by understanding your reporting needs, we can configure the fields and everything can be captured in a single place. And then all of our reporting can be pulled in from there. So you've got a single source to update, which is our initiative itself, our Jira initiative. So now let's go and take a look at some of our reporting options. So here we are looking at an advanced roadmaps plan where I'm pulling in all the work relating to my company's strategic initiatives. Now in here, I've configured some views to easily identify the RAG status and budget status at a glance across each of our initiatives by pulling in the required fields into my plan and creating some colored views. So let's take a look at our RAG status. So I've got a saved view here for RAG status. So automatically, I can identify my red, amber and green initiatives quickly and easily because I've created those fields in my initiative and I'm colouring my view so I can see it here. So easily I can identify if I've got problems on any red or amber and which ones I need to focus on. And then we have the option of seeing our budget status. So again, I have another view here that I've saved for budget status. And again, I can easily identify 
the initiatives that are either on track, over budget, or in danger of 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 uh, going over our budget. And the way that we identify that is that we've spent all of our budget and the project has not been closed off, the initiative has not been closed off. So therefore, if we were to continue to work on that and spend any more money, we're gonna go over budget. So an easy and quick way to capture your data and represent it into your advanced roadmaps. So let's now take a look at how we can create some holistic dynamic reporting that we can share across multiple stakeholders in our business. So let's move on to Confluence now. So here we're looking at a parent page in Confluence, which is pulling together high level reporting dashboard for my entire portfolio of strategic in initiatives across my business. So I can see each business unit represented, who the accountable executive is, the budget status and the RAG status of that stream or business unit. I can also see my advanced roadmaps views for my RAG status across my strategic initiatives and also the budget status across my strategic initiatives. So across my entire business. So all of this is pulled together dynamically. Nothing here needs to be updated manually. As long as you're capturing that information and updating it in your JIRA issue, it will pull through to here. So each business unit or stream has their own status report. So let's click on the marketing project status report. And again, this reporting is pulled in dynamically by filters representing our JIRA data. So in the initiatives with red and amber reg status sections at the top here, we can see the details we want to include, including our reg status and the notes on why we're in that status. And this is to indicate why we're in that status and what our path to green is. We also have a focus view of our advanced roadmaps, RAG and budget status views with just the marketing projects represented. So as we can see here. So the only part of these reports that needs to be updated manually is this table at the top here. So you can enter in your accountable executive. And for this business unit or stream, we can update the RAG status and budget status here of the overall stream. And that's all that needs to be done other than that data entry into JIRA. So it's a really simple solution that makes reporting an efficient and dynamic process from a single source. It's gonna save you time and effort and provide you a single source of truth. So no more collating data and spending time trying to find the latest version of that spreadsheet. If you like what you've seen here, feel free to get in contact with us to understand how we might be able to help you to achieve these types of reporting goals. Thank you for watching.